Hey people, well, how y'all doing? It is now Wednesday, is it Wednesday? The 15th of August, yes. And I am uh, listening to Greg Siegel 33. Happy to report that I'm, since I'm slow down and able to listen, I can hear how this is happening. And Greg, this is very good. Um, my initial response to it was I was not focusing on it. So by listening to it, and I haven't listened to everything on here, it's playing now, last track is playing. This is good. And what I didn't notice on my first listen is how the way the first piece opens is it's like entering a, I'm using this term more because it's appropriate. It's like entering a field. It's like entering a field of activity. I'm gonna turn this down. Um, it came into focus as I was listening. The name David Tudor popped into my head. Things like uh, installations and sound installations and work like that. Um, it hit me that the elements were happening and there there was a through line established right away and things were kind of working like this kind of circular around each other on that first piece so um with a focused listen it's like oh my this is really good greg thank you for sending this to me i uh, have lots more to get into on this i'm in loving this droning piece and the don't remember the other piece on here that I played that that I can speak on, but I have listened to about a third of it. And um, beyond just re reviewing this or saying people that are interested, this is very good and I do recommend it. And I'll look for um, the link to... Um, provide you as to where to buy this. This is really nice and this listen this is very atmospheric and, and lovely. Yeah, see this is this is good. You know, it's got that soundtrack aspect too. So on my last video, yes, I kind of realized it as I was speaking about the Beacon Street Union that I was getting them mixed up with the Paupers. I did know that the Beacon Street Union were actually from Boston, part of that Beantown sound thing that was happening in the 60s, along with Orpheus, um, Ford Theater, um, Chevy Chase's band, Chameleon Church. I have some of those records. I was mixing Beacon Street Union up with the band The Paupers. That band, I associate partially with um, that group of records because they were on a um, related label. MGM Records, Verb, Forecast, they were all part of the same group. So I get those records um, a little can mixed up sometimes. I'm, I'm getting old. <laughs> but um, someone mentioned Oliver Wachowicz. I don't think I'm saying his name right, but I don't have that on vinyl. I know his stuff. Yes, I do. I love those records are hard to find. And if I can just right quick, can I do this real quick? Oh, can I? Is it right here? Yes. Someone had also mentioned these. Someone had also mentioned Dick Hyman. Yeah. Now the, the, this one, I, ha I actually had to have the single the Minotaur, because I still remember I was blown away, frankly, here in Omaha, that the seven minute Minotaur by Dick Hyman got played on the radio in Omaha. More than once, I used to hear it on the radio to the point that uh, I went and bought it as a single at Woolworths or something. So I have this one, I have this one. And yes, I'm aware that Dick Hyman was a, a pianist, a keyboardist, who did a range of music. I mean, I think he even 
uh, recorded uh, possibly with Miles Davis. I know he's played with many jazz greats as well as all kinds of other musicians. Okay, quick one here, folks. Um, Greg Siegel, thank you for sharing your work with me. The Brett Harold Hart, Derek Higgins um, CD arrived at Brett's place yesterday. It was his birthday. Happy birthday, Brett. So I'll be receiving my half of the CDs probably next week. Excuse me. However, I'm going to look and see if Brett has a link up where you can buy physical, physical copies. And if so, I'll provide that. Talk to you soon.